Forth, and welcome to The Fix, your hookup with the latest in entertainment. Today and every Friday on The Fix, I'll give you a rundown of the top five celebrity stories of the week. Speaking of celebrities, I got the opportunity to hobnob with some last weekend at FX International in Orlando, Florida. Among the most pleasant was James Kyson Lee. Lee's most famous role is that of Ando on NBC's Heroes. Ando, the best friend of time-hopping Hiro Nakamura, finally got some powers this season, taking a serum that made him into a human power amplifier. You also may have seen him on CSI, Las Vegas, The West Wing, Heist, Threat Matrix, JAG, ER, and All About the Andersons, as well as a slew of Japanese projects. James was soft-spoken, but more than willing to entertain the fans. He happily signed an autograph for me, and I took the opportunity to ask him if he's working on anything new. He said he'll have a sci-fi channel movie coming out soon called Termination Shock, which he described as a space bandit movie. He says it's a little bit like Fifth Element. Well, as a huge fan of Fifth Element, count me in. And oh, by the way, he loves the name Heather. All right, on to this week's top five stories. At number five, the Rocketman has bid farewell to Las Vegas. After five years and 241 shows at Caesar Palace, Elton John is leaving, but says it won't necessarily be a long time before he returns. John had signed on for 75 shows when his run began in February 2004, but officials say demand expanded the deal. Coming in at number four this week, Mia Farrow is set to begin a hunger strike to protest the tragic conditions in Darfur. The Sudanese government's expelling of international aid agencies prompted the protest. However, the 64-year-old actress and humanitarian has set a limit of 21 days on the fast, or until her health worsens. She will drink water only and has gained nine pounds in preparation for the fast, which she begins on Monday. At number three, the ever-intriguing Paula Abdul said this week that her American Idol contract is up this season and that no one could ever replace her. When asked if she thought that this year's fourth judge, Carity Agardi, could replace her on the show, she responded, whenever there is change, it's not about replacing somebody, it's about possibly moving on. Moving on to number two, Spencer Pratt is set to wed the Hills Coast star and sweetheart Heidi Montag on Saturday and will star with her in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, which is set in the Costa Rican jungle. The contestants will test their outdoor skills. Pratt said the jungle is going to be way easier than any marriage with Heidi and her family. Luckily for Pratt, Montag agreed and said the wedding is likely to be a circus. And at number one this week. Leonard Nimoy says he would be on board for more Star Trek if J.J. Abrams called. After 19 away, years away from the character, Nimoy is set to reprise his iconic role as Spock in Abrams' new Star Trek movie opening in just a few weeks. Paramount is already preparing a sequel to the movie, and Nimoy says if J.J. called, he'd definitely answer. He did say, however, it's too early to speculate whether he'll be portraying Spock once more and says the character he plays in this film is much more like him now as a real person than ever before. Well, that's it for today. I'll be sharing more about my experiences at FX International each day this week, so stay tuned to HaroldBolton.com. You can also follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash THBFix. I'm Heather Bremer for the Harold Bolton, and now you've got your fix.